In this week's episode, I'll talk about how do you build chatbots using chatbot platforms. So chatbot platform provides you a set of services to design, develop and deploy a chatbot. They provide you a framework and a guided set of utilities to build a chatbot. Cloud providers like AWS, Azure, IBM, Google Cloud provides you a set of services that helps you to create conversations, understand the conversation language using NLP techniques, hooks to take the required action, and deliver the solutions via APIs. The fundamental approach adapted by each of the chatbot providers is pretty much the same. They allow chatbot developers to design conversation flows using some visual interface or tooling provided by the cloud vendor. Through this conversations flow, you provide a set of questions and multiple ways you can ask the same question. Define what is the intent of the question. For example, for the question, find cheapest flight from US to UK. The intent is to find lowest airfare. Next, it gives you an interface to define what entities of interest needs to be extracted from the intent. The chatbot provider provides some tooling and mechanism on what entities of interest that needs to be extracted from the intent. For instance, take the early example of finding the cheapest flight from US to UK. Here, the entities can be a country list like UK and US. These entities can be generic enough which are recognized automatically by the cloud provider or the cloud provider will give you some mechanism where you can provide or train these entities including synonyms through some tooling or approach provided by these cloud vendors. Next, you would use the entities extracted to carry out the required action for the intent. For instance, in the example that I described earlier, you would call a flight API service providing UK and US as from and to locations. And last, you would provide the response back to the end user. Once the chatbot is tested, you would expose the chatbot implementation through an endpoint. The cloud vendor would typically provide an ability to expose the functionality for your chatbot through an endpoint, like a REST API. The about technology works quite well for simple to medium complexity flow like FAQ, pointed questions and answers for customer query, fixed set of steps like booking a cab. So anything which requires sophisticated handling of queries like the shopping advisor example which I described in my earlier videos needs to be custom developed using NLP and other techniques. So this concludes our this week's episode. In our next week's episode, we'll talk about an interesting topic on what is not real about chatbots. Till then, have a great week and thank you for watching.